Hey guys, Brad and the Buff. I got my buff in my head and I'm ready to go. Today I wanted to talk and do a little intro. I did a video about ultralight food and setting up for that, but I wanted to break it up into smaller sections. You can see the complete video. It's about 26 minutes long, which I thought was a little bit too long. But like I said, I broke it up into smaller sections for each type of food. What I'm aiming at in general for my trips is about 150 calories per ounce average. Everything I'm doing is measured per ounces because I'm looking at it for ultra light. So I'm doing calories per ounce, I'm doing protein per ounce, and I'm trying to get a wide range of food items in there. So that's why I broke it down. Some other numbers to remember is 28 grams is approximately one ounce and one tablespoon is approximately one third of an ounce. So if you use that mathematics, and I can put those um, in titling on this video, but that's gonna help you out for each of these sections. So I did wanna break them down for you, but if you wanna see the complete video, watch the full 26 minutes. Hope each of these sections helps you guys out. I'll be out on the trail soon with a new video. See you guys later. to my snack pile so these are kind of standalone that you might want to grab on the trail um, I found most of your granola mixes are going to be about hundred and thirty calories per ounce and they're going to be around four grams of protein per ounce if I don't mention the grams of protein per ounce it's because basically it's less than two or three it's basically non-existent non-existent but um, granola was about 130 calories per ounce. This is one of my uh, favorite of all the snack foods that I found. Um, dried fruits are typically going to be around 100 and calories per ounce. I used to bring these, but because they're not as dense as, say, some of my other foods, I probably will drop these off um, just because I don't think they're necessary. I can find other sweet things that I can use, unless you just love dried fruits but these are gonna be at about 100 calories per ounce. I'll probably be taking those out. Um, a lot of people love to bring tortillas. I don't think I will be at 80 calories per ounce. That's pretty thin at a calorie per ounce. It's gonna be hard to get that average up. The good thing about these is you can do a lot with them. You can put peanut butter and honey and a few other things to get a nice dish. I could take and put pepperoni with a little olive oil on this, roll it up and carry it around with me during the day. So they are very flexible to make multiple snacks with. There's all kinds of things you can do with these, but at 80 calories per ounce, I'm not sure that I'm interested in carrying them. Um, potato chips, surprisingly, are actually pretty calorically dense. They're about 140, 150. My favorite is the Pringles packaging, just because you don't have to worry about them getting smashed if you put them in your bag. Plus, I can burn the cardboard on this if I'm starting a fire, so they do have a extra um, use to it. Uh, the, you'd still have to pack out the cap and the bottom, which is metal. But uh, Pringles, about 150 calories per ounce. Um, same, I, out of all of the options, you can find a lot of crackers and about the 140 calorie per ounce. Uh, I like the wheat thins the most, but chicken and a biscuit, and a bunch of others are right in there. Um, so crackers, you can stack you know, your cheese, your pepperoni on one, make a nice little uh, tasty dish. So crackers, you can get in that 140. Wheat thins, once again, about 130, 140 calories per ounce. Uh, people like muesli uh, because it can be used as a breakfast food. It can be hot or cold food. If you're in a hurry, you just pour water over it, hot or cold. Um, basically, it's got about the caloric density of oatmeal. That's about 110 calories per ounce. It has, I don't know, about two to three grams of protein per ounce. Um, I don't think I'll be carrying this with me. To me, it's not worth the extra weight, but a lot of people recommend this, so I did want to bring it up as a snack food. Um, one that I found that was really interesting was the Coconut cut Cashew um, Crisp by Simply Nature. These are 170 calories per ounce, three grams of protein very calorically dense and these things are super tasty uh, i really enjoyed eating them it's hard not to eat too many of them if you're just sitting around your house but they're you know they're salty a little bit salty but mostly sweet would go great with coffee 
Um, but uh, at 170 calories per ounce for a snack food, very calorically dense. There's your typical oatmeal cream pie, slash fudge round, slash star crunch, slash just about any of the Little Debbie products. Those are gonna be in about the 130 to 140 calorie per ounce range. Um, I enjoy these just because it's, it's a sweet snack, it's a nice dessert snack. I always look forward to eating them at 130, that is calorically dense. They're pretty much garbage for you in every other way other than they taste really good and they do provide a lot of calories per ounce. So if you enjoy these, they're worth bringing along. Um, and then there's your good old fashioned Cliff Bars. These are gonna run you about 125 calories per ounce. Uh, they're a good balance of everything and they're easy because you can take them out. I prefer the, uh, they came out with this sweet and salty line that I very much enjoy. Um, I may still bring Cliff Bars with me because you know they're in that 120, 130 calorie per ounce range. Um, they're probably a little bit better for you than say the oatmeal cream pies. They're easy to eat, um, but that's what you're looking at on your typical Cliff Bar. Hey guys, if you like the video you just saw, please subscribe, click the bell so you can get alerted for any new videos that I may do. And check the links below for any information I described in the video. I'll try to put as much there as possible. Thanks for watching.